Hello, this is Steve, Dichroic Glassman. Still on this trail of explaining the dichroic bevels and the feasibility, especially on this video. What I want to do is explain that the bevels, the only bevels that are available in stateside in America that they're showing on the internet when you do a search, let's use this shape, show that the bevel is only coated on the top. They're not coming in black and they don't come with lines like I drew on here. And the point that I did that is because the flat spot of the bevel, I call it the table, that's the only thing that's being coated. When you see them being coated, the cost of that bevel is $2.10. The cost of that bevel is $1.20. So if you bought this bevel as a clear bevel, you're going to pay roughly $1.20 for that bevel, give or take, depending on who's got it for sale. So basically, you minus the cost of your bevel out of the dichroic bevel overall, and you get, you're paying $0.90 cents for one-ninth of the bevel right here in the center. If you paid full full bevel dichro price, you'd be paying $8.10 because 90 cents times times 9 is $8.10 plus $1.10 to $1.20 for the bevel itself, you're going to pay $9.20 for that bevel. That's basically what you're paying for right now. That's, that's incredible. You're paying $9.20. Same thing on this one. In fact, it's actually even higher. This is a three, uh, one and a half by one and a half. Same rule, cost of the bevel, cost of the dichroic, uh, what they charge, paying $1.10 for one ninth of the bevel. You're getting $10.55 is what you're paying the equivalent for. That's amazing. If they coated the full bevel, you would be pay at the price that they're charging you for this, you would be expected to pay $10.55 for this bevel. And I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this here in a second. Same thing with the small one. The one inch bevel equals up to $9.65 because in some of the bevels, it's not even a ninth. It's as little as a twelfth. It's only a quarter of an inch in some of these bevels in the center. As compared to mine, a full, a full view bevel. So let's look over this. There's only three possible ways you can introduce a dichroic bevel to the industry. Dichro on the top, like we showed here. The crazy thing about dichro on the top, there's no depth. You, you, there's no magic to the dichroic that you get when you see dichroic under a lens, under a clear top. A lot of people don't care for the dichroic shown exposed. In fact, a lot of people have a hard time selling their cabochons when they're coated and they're not capped. We call it capped in the industry. And this is what that would look like. This area right here does not have clear over the top. A lot of people have a hard time selling their cabochons unless they come with a clear top. So with that technology, terminology, and a way of looking at it, why would you want dichroic on the top of your bevel? The magic of dichro is seeing it coming through the layers. The same thing is here. To seeing the dichro coming through the layered effect and gives you the depth. So Dichro on the top, I give that a thumbs down. It's self-defeating. Besides that, you're not getting your money's worth. You're paying for one-ninth. You're paying for the whole loaf of bread and only getting one slice. The next, the next aspect is if you did have a bevel and it was coated on the bottom, which right now I can have them made. Anybody can have these done. Problem is, dichroic is not a glass, it's a coating. It's 18 millionths of an inch, 18 millionths, not even detectable with the human eye, unless it was metal oxides, which is what dichroic is. However, if this was dichro on the bottom of the bevel, you say, well, then let's just coat it on the bottom. And let's be done with it. Problem is, if you, in stained glass applications, as you're making your window, if you slid this across the surface one time and looked at it in the light, you could see a ripped up bevel because 18 millionths of an inch would only take a piece of grain of glass, not even detectable, to scratch it and ruin it. When we fuse it, we don't care because we're melting it and we've, we're going into, um, it's all bonding together. We don't care. You can't see a scratch once you fuse it, once you make a plate, a bowl, or lamp workers, or lamp workers are doing stuff. You don't see the scratches when you fuse it. But if you're going to want a sterile bevel with dichro on the bottom, it's not feasible as well. Because if I did a large circle, this big, 
28.26 square inches, six inch bevel. Once one slide across the table, it's scratched. So you can imagine the stained glass people listening here going, well, geez, if I slid that across that table, I'm already having a hard time with my bevels. When I when my window's done, I found my bevels have been scratched. That's because little solder balls, little glass shards, once they get under there, they can tear it up. If you had a dichroic bevel where it was coated on the bottom and you're hoping that you, it'll make it through the whole stained glass process and you think you got a clean bevel, dream on. I would say 99% impossible. The only other way to approach a dichroic bevel is the labor intensive way that I'm doing it. You cannot scratch the dichro in this case. However, there's a trade-off. There is a trade-off with doing the dichroic on the bottom or the way that I'm doing it. You cannot touch the dichro. The trade-off is this. I have to grind the edges, hand labor, all these dichroic bevels that I'm making that you're soon going to be for you're going to see for sale. There's and because of that, I'm going to chatter the edges. There's just no way around it. As long as there's a machine involved, these edges are going to have some chatter. Chatter is these little these little microscopic little chips around the edge. There's no other way around it. Impossible. Unless you have a water jet. Now you're talking about bringing in big money. But I want to tell you, here's the good side. Once you foil them, there's no chatter. You can't see any chips. Once I foiled this piece. So, voila, all is well. But I do want to tell you, there's no way to make a dichroic bevel perfectly. None. There is a sacrifice. You're paying nine times the money here for the top. For here, it's going to get ruined with one slide across. Here, this is the trade-off. You're going to have chipped edges. However, if you're going to use them in lead, you're going to cover them up. If you're going to use them in copper foil, the foil will cover it up if you do your foil right. However, here's the thing. I'm even willing to do this. If a person says, I'm willing to go with these, I'll even copper foil them for you. I only use black back foil. If you want copper, I'll, I'll, do, I'll buy rolls of copper and we'll do it that way. Or I'll just provide a bevel or two in your order of a copper foil just to show you. As you can see here, no problem. You can't see any chatter because I've covered it up with the foil. I want to be as upfront and honest about this as possible. There's absolutely no way that a dichroic bevel can be introduced to the market where it can't be scratched. This cannot be scratched because the dichro is on the inside. It's impossible. This is the only, the highest quality way of doing it, but it is labor intensive. I'm doing these all by hand. Every one of them. I'm not a machine. I'm not sending them off to China to have them coated. This is all done in America by one person, me. And that's it's hands on. So, all these dichroic bevels that you're going to see, custom done, odds and ends, the bevels, the hummingbirds that I've been doing, bevel clusters, I'm doing these all by hand. I can only do so many in a day. There's only me. I'm so excited about showing you this, though, and you've seen some of my windows up close. If you go to my YouTube videos and follow them, it's still exciting. Folks, I get, I bet I'm 80. 595 percent to having the perfect dichroic bevel that's the best you can do because of those edges once they're copper foiled and inserted i've got the hundred percent real deal you can't get any better than that try it actually do the math do the calculations or do it yourself if you know how to do dichroic lamination there is no way that you can have a perfect dichroic bevel i'll talk about it again on the next video something to think about Bye bye